Hey there in YouTube land and today we are going to uh, keep up with our Criterion month. <coughs> this time around a lot of people picked up a lot of Criterion stuff. And I've noticed that uh, there's been a lot more Criterion videos than normal. I was talking to uh, on a uh, live stream last night to uh, some guys and uh, 4K Cinema HD mentioned that uh, it seemed to be even grown up and blown up even bigger this year. A lot of people that a year or two ago were saying no I'm never gonna buy a Criterion, they're too expensive are, uh, are buying them now. You know I'm one of those guys. I uh, bought a a few myself this time around where it's coming closer to my uh, to ending my schooling and going into like the big bad business world I decided to uh, to slack off a bit we grabbed five so I uh, got those coming I had a chance to pick up another today but I decided no I'll wait on it and November I'll go I'll just go crazy and get a bunch of them <laughs> so expect a lot in November because you know big unboxings that are coming up for me, uh, definitely a Halloween set, Batman set, limited edition, and of course the uh, my Criterion stuff that I'm getting in November, which is gonna make my uh, better half cry. I'm gonna get that many. But it's gonna it's gonna make her uh, recent uh, what's it? Uh, Disney treasures uh, hunt <coughs> look, uh, look 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 small. So, and we all know if you've been watching my channel for less than a while how intense that Disney Treasures Hunt has been. Now, the movie I wanted to review today is a movie called Francis Hall. It's by Noah Baumbach and it stars, uh, well, it has two f very uh, famous independent cinema actors in it. It has Greta Gerwig, who, honestly, guys, you'll completely fall in love with this girl as soon as you see her. She is that infectious, just <coughs> adorable character. An actress, and uh, we have Adam Driver uh, for the ladies. Uh, Driver is a unconventional, like looking actor, and I really like what Driver uh, does in this film. He has his uh, unique sense of humor that he uses, and he uh, he kind of plays. And a lot of times, I think he plays Adam Driver. Well, not Adam Driver, but Adam Driver characterist. You know, if you've seen Girls, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, great series, by the way, with uh, Lena Dunham. And I really, really enjoyed this movie. Basically, Frances is a uh, is a part of a uh, of a dance company. She's an apprentice in a dance company, and she wants to be part. Of, you know, she wants to be uh, one of the main dancers. She wants to do her own shows, and uh, things don't seem to be going that well for Frances. Who, at the beginning of the movie, she's with her uh, boyfriend, who uh, who she breaks up with, and goes back to her uh, her friend, who she's living with at the time. And things go, things go awry, with between her and her best friend. And throughout the movie, we see uh, Francis moving from uh, <clears throat> from temporary place to temporary place. Mm -hmm. Francis really doesn't have anywhere to stay. And after a while, Francis really doesn't have much of a job, so she kind of drifts from job to job. And uh, still with the dream of becoming a dancer, she's very much a dreamer. She's very much uh, <coughs> head in the clouds, and I really love that about her because. Whatever she's doing, she fully commits to it. And uh, that's one of the things I love about this movie, and I love about the character. And I love that they could do this, and they could have the character. <coughs> and I don't want to give too much away. Well, let's just say she she doesn't get to where she wants to go in the way she thought she was going to get there. But that doesn't mean what happens isn't f fantastic. <laughs> this is not a downbeat movie. Uh, everything about it would make, when you think about it, you hear about it, think this would be like kind of a downbeat movie and this would be the quirky characters that would keep it going up. But no, Francis Ha is a journey. It's a discovery of like getting to the place but in an unconventional way. Everybody has a dream when they grow up. Uh, of a place they want to go and a place they want to get. I'm just leaving school right now and uh, I'm in the middle of uh, work term stuff and job interviews and all this stuff and when I went to school I kind of knew <clears throat> that I wanted to work in business and uh, I just didn't know where and now I'm finishing school and opportunities are there and uh, I'm still not sure exactly where and how 
or what exactly I'm going to fit into. And this movie resonated with me a lot because of that. Because Frances really knows what she wants. She just doesn't know how the journey is going to get her there. But at the end of the day, the journey can get you there. And Frances Ha is an amazing movie for that. Uh, the acting is fantastic. The writing is superb. <laughs> Noah Baumbach kicks it, knocks it at the park again. And uh, the actors are all fantastic. Even the people that would come off the beginning as kind of unlikable, they're more, there's more dimensions to them than that. And a lot of these people are only characters you see like surface-wise. But uh, it just you've come out of Francis Ha feeling extremely revitalized, extremely happy, and hoping that you're going to be a Francis Ha or you're going to meet a Francis Ha and have one in your life because it was... It was an amazing journey. It's, it's, it's a great criterion. Uh, it's one that I'm going to grab down the road because it was that good of a movie. And on a quick note, if you haven't seen Blue is the Warmest Color yet, that's another one that I'll review another time, but i got to say, it's very cheap to buy on Blu-ray. It's 12-something. I strongly recommend it. It was one of the best films that I watched this year. And... Uh, I like these character films, films that don't always go in the way that you think they're going to go, but you come out of it feeling something and learning something different. And uh, both these films do that. Uh, Francis Howe is an amazing film. If you haven't seen it, I really suggest you check it out. It is on Netflix. It's probably on Hulu Plus as well. And uh, if you enjoy it, pick it up. It's one of the newer Criterions. Like The Great Beauty and stuff like that is one of the newer Criterions. But you know, I always thought I'd always go for the older Criterions all the time. But sometimes there is some gems that come out of, in, of the newer films. When I think there's all remakes and there's all rehashes and stuff like that. So little stuff like this that we got to watch and uh, see. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, Criterion Month. Let me know what you guys are getting uh, lit like linking up their videos. I'm definitely trying to watch every Criterion out and about and every Criterion unboxing video I can see right now. I'm just having fun seeing everybody else's Criterions. I know what I got coming and I love finding out what everybody else has coming because it gives me ideas for what I'm going to get in November. Thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and uh, for me right now it's definitely going to be time for tea. Thanks.